What is going on guys? Great for today. I'll talk about some things with the Halo Infinite campaign that could lead into some maybe future DLC or maybe even the next Halo title. Now before I get into these details, be aware I'm going to talk about a lot of spoilers here. So I don't want to ruin anything for anyone, especially the ending of the game. So if you don't want to know any of that information, you might want to click off the video now. Like I said, I don't want to spoil anything for anybody. Now when it comes to Halo Infinite DLC, there's been a lot of rumors over the last few days considering there's been some data mined info and some info found out that uh, 343 has filed a patent for something called Halo the Endless. Now, if you've completed the story, you've watched the post credits cutscene that kind of comes in towards the end of the credits. It kind of shows off something that sets it up for either another game or maybe future DLC. And of course, you know, the Endless was mentioned in the game as well. So it looks like something else is coming to the Halo universe. Now, a lot of people were speculating that this could be the next game. They just went ahead and filed the patent so they could go ahead and start working on it. But a lot of players, including myself, are wondering, will there be actually a campaign uh, kind of DLC, some things added to the story as it goes on? Is the story part of the live service that 343 is introducing kind of to the Halo world, something we're not used to seeing? Now, of course, a few weeks back, uh, 343 mentioned they wanted to, the game to last for uh, up to 10 years. Now, is that saying that that has to do with the story part of the game, or is that just to do with the multiplayer? A lot of people thought it was going to be kind of dealing with the multiplayer, since it is free-to-play now. Uh, you know, a lot of companies, when they make free-to-play games, they decide to keep them out for a longer period of time than they would if they're going to sell, you know, game from game, or, you know, game to game over the years. So a lot of people consider maybe it was just for the multiplayer part of the game, the 10-year the life cycle was kind of being mentioned. A lot of people thought maybe they were going to do that for the pro league side, so they're going to play the same game for several years instead of having to swap up every you know four to five years. But at the same time, I think, uh, in, in my opinion anyway, I think that they could be looking at doing a live service for the entire game. That means you know story and multiplayer. They could continue this story along the way. And one reason I think that is they said that a lot of the game's open world parts, a lot of the other stuff was cut out, like 40 to 60% of the stuff was cut out of the game once it released. So that makes me think that they're saving some things for future DLC. And if they're going to continue this game with a live service kind of idea for multiplayer, they could do the same thing for the campaign. They could just keep adding stuff as time goes on, give us more you know, story to play set up more you know things from you know kind of part to part you know kind of give us some different uh things to do in the open world some different you know enemies to fight you know kind of just continue that story where halo infinite kind of ended they also could be doing something like a live service where they continue the multiplayer and then just every so often you know four or five years they put out a new story campaign so it's going to kind of be integrated, you know, they'll integrate the multiplayer into the new story portion of Halo Infinite. So there's a, several different ways they could go with this. I'm kind of hoping they just continue to add on to Halo Infinite as a whole, just continue to add on to this story instead of making a new game and making us wait four or five years because that ending is pretty epic and it's going to leave a lot of people wondering what's going to go on next inside of the Halo universe. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. What do you think is going to happen? Do you think they're going... To continue with this story for several years and just add you know story dlc or do you think they're going to you know make a new game several years down the road and just kind of integrate the multiplayer with it is that what they're talking about with the 10-year cycle or do you think they're really going to support this game multiplayer and story for the next 10 years i would love to hear your comments so leave them down in the comment section below and of course we like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so be sure to check out everything down in the description the community discord my twitter and of course the affiliates here on the channel empire jerky and amazon associates also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well and i'll catch you all next time peace